Hi, in this video, I want to talk to you about the top three causes of fatigue and some simple ways to help get more energy. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe with Two Minutes to Better Health. Well, the first two of these are not going to be any major surprise. Number one, lack of sleep. You need at least six hours, seven, preferably eight, even better. Otherwise, you're going to be tired. Number two, stress. Stress definitely depletes the whole body of a lot of different things, leads to adrenal fatigue and exhaustion, and that's going to cause you to feel absolutely tired all the time. Number three is what I want to focus on today, which is blood sugar imbalances. And that could be diabetes type 1 or 2, prediabetes, insulin resistance, and hypoglycemia. And I really want to talk a lot about insulin resistance. To understand that, you have to understand what does insulin do to the body. All right, and insulin has a number of different roles, but primarily it's produced when you eat, especially with its simple carbohydrates, your body produces more of it because of that excess sugar load that's in the blood. So it takes the sugar out of the blood and puts it into the cells to be used for energy. And we need that obviously to not be tired. So persistent high amounts over long periods of time of insulin results in insulin resistance. The body stops listening to the insulin because there's way too much sugar coming into the cells. It doesn't want it anymore and it becomes resistant to it. So it's difficult allowing sugar into the cells at this point. Without sugar getting in the cells properly, you will have no energy. That's why people with diabetes or pre-diabetics and insulin-resistant people have very low levels of energy. You may not even be diagnosed with this, but upwards of 100 million Americans have one of these forms of conditions, so that's a big issue. And the rest of the sugar is then stored in the liver, and some of it, the majority of it at this point, is stored as body fat, which is going to deplete energy even more because you're toting around extra body weight as a result of it. So you can see insulin has a lot to do with why you could be tired. So if you're your body stops listening to the insulin, you're going to be tired. So what do we do to support this? Well, ultimately, we want to get more energy and support the blood sugar at the same time. Eating less sugar, processed carbs, including fruits, a great way to start. Eating more healthy fats and moderate proteins, less of a glycemic spike in your blood sugar, less insulin production, your cells will start listening even better. Fiber helps slow down the, uh, the absorption of sugar into the body, so that's good, eating less frequently. Okay, when there's bigger gaps of time between food consumption, people instead of grazing all day long, when your body has to go like three, four, five, six hours between meals, okay, that's a great thing because then the sugar that's in the blood starts to naturally deplete by the amount of energy being used, and therefore you don't need as much insulin in the blood and the resistance starts to improve. Ultimately, intermittent fasting is phenomenal. That goes from like dinner till breakfast, which is more like lunch. If you go 14 to 16 hours, you're going to basically cause your body to become less insulin resistant and more insulin sensitive. That's a great thing to do for sure. We'll talk more about that in the future. Exercise, great. That burns up glucose. Sleep, is obviously it's going to give you energy, but it's, sleep is important for your body to get into fat burning, which is much better than sugar burning all the time. Lower stress, obviously that's going to be helpful, but even when you're under stress, if you're not eating, you will actually spike your blood sugar. So that's another reason why people have blood sugar issues. Detoxification is great because blood sugar is affected by insulin, which is a hormone. Hormone disruptors, otherwise known as toxins, build up in the body. So when there's these toxins competing with insulin, then the body starts to produce more insulin to try to get communication to the cells. If you get rid of those toxins, those hormonal disruptors, then your body will listen better, and that ultimately will help with insulin sensitivity. Supplementation, vitamin D, chromium, zinc, potassium, many others, and magnesium as well, can be very helpful to support blood sugar and therefore improve your energy. So a lot of different information here, but hopefully this is helpful for you to understand the insulin response and how it affects you having energy. So low levels of energy can often indicate that this is going on in your body. If you're not sure how to address this, follow some of these tips. Definitely look up somebody that can help you nutritionally with this or speak to your medical doctor as well. And maybe some blood tests can help you to find out how sensitive you are or resistant you are to insulin. So thanks for watching today. I hope this was helpful. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Have a great day.